A sunrise makes the sky pink and blue above open water with docks and boats. Text appears on screen. 32 HPOG programs across 21 states are providing in-demand healthcare training to TANF recipients and other low-income individuals. The snowy skyline of downtown Buffalo, New York with brick houses. A white commuter train passes close by. The front door of the Erie BOSIS Workforce Development Center with website www.e1b.org. Crystal Yaw, Erie 1 BOSIS instructor, sits in a learning classroom with hospital beds. Nurses, there's never enough. No matter where you go, we're always short-staffed. And if we can provide high-quality nurses, maybe we can help out the population just a little bit more. Stethoscopes hang from a metal stand in front of a poster featuring the anatomy of the human body. Judy Carter, Erie One BOSIS LPN head instructor, sits in her office. The students want to make their lives better. And they want to provide for themselves, and this is a way for them to do it. And that's something I tell them, I want to make you the best nurse you can be. Text appears on screen. Healthcare training instructors build strong relationships with HPOG participants to help them succeed in the classroom and beyond. Brandy, HPOG graduate, licensed practical nurse, certified nursing assistant, and medical assistant, sits in her living room with her child on her lap. I pushed to do the LPN at the time that I did because my husband was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. I feel like the biggest thing for me was to try and figure out how I was going to balance the workload along with working, along with being a mom. Brandy and her children laugh and play with toys on the floor. So Brandy was one of my first students in my very first class. She was motivated and driven like you couldn't imagine. Brandy answers the phone at a medical reception station. So there were a few situations in which she would reach out and ask for certain things, and a lot of it was teaching her how to find the resources herself, teaching her to become independent on her own. My instructors in the program really helped a lot. Um, if anything, I needed anything, they were there on a personal level along with like an educational level, so that helped tremendously. So you're never alone, period. You're never alone in nursing, you're never alone in this program. There's always someone for you. A sign reads, 107 licensed practical nursing, outside of a large wooden door. I've been a nurse about 55 years. It allows me to give them examples of care given or give them examples of patients who had specific issues. Getting those aspects in from real world experiences from my instructors, it really opens your eyes to the possibilities. Two nurses package medical equipment. They were on top of you about getting your work done. Um, they wanted to make sure that you were thinking like a nurse, doing things on a nursing level. They prepare you so well for you to be able to be that next generation nurse. It's just wonderful because now I feel like I've contributed to their advancement in their career and where they want to be. So it gives me the opportunity to continue on and make sure that the best nurses that we can produce are going out. Crystal Yaw sits in front of her classroom instructing students while they take notes and gain hands-on experience with the aid of a dummy. Mrs. Yaw, she was, I would say she was amazing just because she had so much experience in a wide variety of different nursing fields. I went into my nursing job and I wasn't nervous. I wasn't scared that I wasn't gonna succeed because I felt like I did get enough of that from my instructors. She wanted to grasp LPN training by the horns and just run with it. She wanted, this is what she wants to do. You can just see the passion. She wants to be a nurse. She wants to succeed. I work for Primary Care of Western New York. Um, we are actually one of the largest just primary care offices in the area. It, it all revolves around total patient care and, and I do love what I do. She is made to be a nurse. She's made to take care of other people. Some people are made and some people choose to become nurses. She was made that way. Text appears on screen. HPOG participants are building pathways to a brighter future. 
HPOG logo appears on screen. HPOG, Health Profession Opportunity Grants, Office of Family Assistance. To learn more about HPOG, please visit www.acf.hhs.gov forward slash OFA forward slash programs forward slash HPOG. This video was supported by contract number GS-07F0495Y, order number HHSP2332015050, G to Burnett Garcia Advertising, Inc., from the Administration of Children and Families, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services.